Hello and welcome to another episode of UENPD TV. I'm Michael Hakarainen, and I'm really excited about this episode because it's kind of a birthday party. We're celebrating the 10th anniversary of the Canyon School District Film Festival. In this film festival, students, parents, faculty and staff, even principals, submit films to the film festival to tell their story on film. So let's go inside and sit down with Katie Blunt. She's an ed tech here and the director of the film festival. We're gonna find out why the Canyon School District Film Festival is such a unique and successful endeavor. Here we are inside with Katie Blunt, Canyon School District ed tech. And uh, Katie, let's, uh, let's hear your story. Tell us, um, how did you get into ed tech and becoming an ed tech with Canyon School District? And how did this film festival get started? Who, whose idea was this to do a Canyon School District Film Festival? Yeah, well, I started to become interested in ed tech um, when I was working out in Harriman Elementary. And my team lead at the school at the time had started doing this newscast with her students every week. And um, I asked her a little bit more about it and she allowed me to start working with her on the project. And that was sort of that first step into working with technology in the schools and with students. Um, from there, I actually had an amazing ed tech at my school named Kelly Dumont, <laughs> who's now my coworker. Um, but I watched what he did when he came to the schools to train teachers and um, empower them to use technology um, in creative ways. And I thought, okay, that's what I want to do. I want to be Kelly Dumont when I grow up. <laughs> so um, the next step was that I went and got my master's degree at the University of Utah um, in their IDET program. Mm -hmm. And um, conveniently, <laughs> right when I was graduating that program, Canyon School District was being assembled. And so I had the opportunity to apply for an ed tech position with Canyons um, right as I was graduating. And I've been doing that now for 10 years as we're <laughs> reaching that milestone birthday for Canyons. Tell us a little bit about your background beyond education. Have you worked in film? What was it that inspired you to get involved in this uh, project? Yeah, you know, I was one of those kids who, um, in uh, middle school and high school, I much preferred to do something creative, a presentation, a performance for school assignments. And so I was always asking my teachers, can I make a movie of that instead? Can I make a film project instead of whatever we had been asked to do? So from there, I um, always had that sort of in the back of my mind as I went into education and all these other things. Um, then I actually had the opportunity one summer to work in the art department on a film, a feature film. It was actually directed by John DeBello of Killer Tomato fame mm. and a good friend, uh, John Manoa, who is a Utah filmmaker now, lives here, um, invited me to be an intern in the art department. So that was my first official entry into filmmaking. From there, I just took opportunities every chance I got with my teaching career to introduce film and to help kids see how film could be used for all sorts of projects. This project is now celebrating its 10th anniversary and to have something like this uh, with a brand new school district keep going and, and keep getting so much better each year, it's got to have a lot of support. Yes. So what's the magic that goes into it that makes it such a successful endeavor? I think the, the starting point of that magic is a strong team that believes in it and wants it to happen. Mm -hmm. um, Canyon School District was very fortunate to be able to start from the get-go with a vision of ed tech. Um, again, created by Darren Draper, our director, Kelly Dumont, and all of the ed techs. So to have a whole team uh, specializing in education technology and believing in the power of the filmmaking process and creativity um, was key to really launching it and then, as you said, helping it to continue for 10 years. Um, beyond that core team, of course, you have to have um, cooperation and collaboration from every entity involved. Students, teachers, administrators, district personnel, our communications department has been huge in helping this to continue because their reach out to news agencies and on social media has made a huge impact on getting people involved in the festival. 
Beyond that, we even have had community support, um, sponsors from local businesses. It can't just happen with one person, obviously. Um, it, it's the whole community coming together to help this event grow. So you mentioned that you have seen hundreds of films and hundreds of filmmakers submit them over the last 10 years. What are some of your highlights? What are some of the successes we should know about? Yeah, um, as I reminisced about 10 years and the amazing student work that we've received, uh, definitely a handful of students stood out that were able to raise the bar, if you will, mm. on the quality of videos we received. David Scorett from Hillcrest High School, Aaron Shu from Hill Hillcrest High School, um, Wesley Cyphus from Jordan High School and then Taylor Sampson was actually a really fun one to get back in touch with. Each one of these students, as I've followed them on social media and seen where they've gone, are in filmmaking careers, which is amazing. They've gone to film school, they've got their own little production companies. And while that's not necessarily the goal of the film festival, it's more about learning skills and communication skills, it's still really fun to see that they've carried that on. So let's sit down with Taylor and ask her about her experience with the Canyons Film Festival. So I'm currently a junior at Utah State studying digital media marketing. So I have my own personal business and then I work at a real estate firm as well, helping them. Then I also do some work with the university as I'm like their student section videographer. Katie's actually the one that got me into like videography and stuff and she, I want to say in sixth grade when I was a little baby, <laughs> she asked me to like, I think that was when we were starting to do like the Falcon Report at Sprucewood and she was like, hey like do you want to like come help? And I was like that sounds kind of fun like video whatever. So I like did that and then we won, I think it was the second annual film festival is when we submitted it and so we won that year and I was like that is so fun like video is way fun and so then the year after that, I submitted a commercial and I won that year by myself and I was like, this is really cool. And then my senior year, I was tech SPO here at Corner Canyon and then submitted a, like a newscast that year too and we won that year. So it's been pretty fun working with the film festival because it's kind of helped me go, like, get to where I am now. When I first went up to college, I was like, I, I'm like, I'm a videographer, like I want to kind of do something with this in my future. And so now that my generals are done, I finally was like, you know what, marketing, because like, like the film festival, since there's like so many different aspects, like marketing, you can like, like the commercial, I had a lot of fun doing those, like in like middle school, I think is when I did those. And I was like, that was way fun. Maybe I should like get back into that. And like, so that's what made me decide to do digital media marketing. I think it's really important for teachers to like um, be supportive. Cause I had a lot of supportive teachers here at Corner, especially to like help like support me. And like, I think the film festival is a great way to, for them to be like, hey, like you like, I know you like doing like, like say like Snapchat videos, like you like doing that. So like, why don't you like try like splicing something together and like entering it in the film festival? Cause you never know like what will happen. Like it's just another thing to do. So Katie, you mentioned one of the key ingredients for the success of this project has been a strong team. Mm -hmm. What recommendations would you have for another school district that might be just getting started with a film festival? What do they need to do first? Uh, for a starting point, I would recommend that districts not be discouraged or worried if they start small. Mm -hmm. Our first couple of years were very small, just a, a, a little small intimate award ceremony, maybe 20 entries, and we've grown now to have a couple hundred, 300 entries every year. So give yourself time and room to grow. I would also say um, have a plan for communication out to the schools. That's one of the hardest things is to make sure everybody knows it's happening and what to do. Um, and then I would say provide examples and support. When you go to a teacher and say, I think you should try filmmaking in your classroom, their first response is, I don't have time, I have so much to teach. So it's key to show them examples and offer support to prove to them that this is an important skill for students and that it ties into what they're already teaching. Mm -hmm. So help them catch that vision. Um, and then I'd say go for it. And then gradually communicate with more people. Mm -hmm. Get the community more involved. Um, have a vision for what you want it to be and then start small and let it grow. And contact Canyons District, we'll help you out. We'll give you tips and tricks that'll help your festival grow and that have worked for us. It's been great to hear Katie Blunt 
share her story about the Canyons Film Festival over the last 10 years. And especially exciting to hear about adding the A to STEM and creating STEAM with some art. You can learn more about how to use multimedia and build creativity in the classroom from any of our UEN PD trainings and courses. To learn more, go to uen.org register and we'll see you in class.